Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another Lululemon haul. I wasn't really planning on filming this, but I actually just finished filming my Amazon haul, which would be uploaded right before this, and I'm very proud of it, but I figured I had the time. And there are some interesting pieces in this haul that I feel like, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions on through Instagram. So I was like, why not just do another chat? <laughs> So to start off, I have the Align leggings with pockets in a 25 inch and I got them in black because I actually don't really wear pocket leggings that much because I just never find myself really using them. And if I were to have a pocket legging, it just sounds right to have a staple black one rather than a colored one. So let's try that on. All right, so these are definitely just one of the most comfortable pocket leggings I've ever put on because usually pocket leggings, I think, are very performance-like, which is fine, but I obviously, if you watch me, you know that I like the brushed stuff. So yeah, they're so comfortable. I would say there's only one thing I don't like about it, which is the pocket back here. There's a pocket in the waistband, which makes it has a seam right at that point, and it just adds a lot of bulk back here, and I just think it's very unnecessary to have that pocket because that's the point of having the pockets on the side. So that's why I'm iffy about keeping them because it would be perfect. Like it comes at a really nice height. Um, I would say they're almost like a tad bit more like thick or slick than your normal lines, but barely, I don't know. It's, I'm not really sure, honestly, like maybe it's like a tiny bit, but it's in a good way. Like I feel very held in and compressed and the pockets are definitely big enough to fit your phones and they're very stretchy and here's a quick squat test and they definitely come at the same length still and I think that the stitching is really nicely done around the legs and how the seams come up on the glutes like I think they're very flattering but it's just that one pocket it's not like it even feels uncomfortable I just feel like I just don't like the look of the seam back there it just feels like it cuts into back fat not that I have a lot going on, but that's the only thing. I don't know. I also actually feel like they create less of a camel toe than normal lines. Like I don't even feel the front seam at all, but usually with the lines I do. So I don't know, they're very comfortable. What do you guys think? Let me know. I just really wish they didn't put this back there. I feel like they totally could have done without it. Otherwise, if you need pocket leggings and a stable black line, I would say these are the ones to get for sure. All right, I'm so sorry. I was so distracted by the fact that there's a back seam here, which now I can show you a close up anyways, how there's this seam that just is from the back and here's the pocket. Like it's hard. I was editing the video and it's really hard to tell. Like it looked like I was talking about nothing, but here you could see how like huge this pocket is. And that's like, you know, what you feel on the back of you. And this seam right here was just like, felt like it was kind of digging in. And it, it also kind of felt like it was rolling down a little bit in the back and like not technically really staying up. Then I just wanted to show you how this is the front. So the front is totally normal, like your normal aligns, how there is no seam in the front and it's just where the pocket is in the back there. And then here are the seat, the pockets right here, just more of a close up and the seams down the leg. All right guys, now is we're back to the full zip, you know? I tried on the navy one in my last Lulu haul and I was like, you know, if they come out with the, this color, I will die. I'm so happy I got it. I stopped the site on Tuesday and I was able to pick it up because it sold out literally the fastest I've ever seen a little item sell out when, during a drop. I'm so happy I snagged it. So I ended up keeping the navy like before I saw this drop because I wanted to wear it. I went to Florida recently and I wore it in the airport on the way there and back and I wore the navy full zip with this top actually and black lines and I just loved the outfit. I really liked the full zip because I like how obviously you can like just do a little bit or a lot and the thing is that I feel like the hood is almost lighter so this doesn't fall up as much. I'm going to try on the half zip for you guys again just to show you but I feel like this actually stays put and it doesn't slide up a lot, like maybe a tiniest bit, but not a lot. So that's definitely the biggest difference. And also what I was saying in my other video, a big difference is obviously like you can wear it unzipped so you can show off like a cute sports bra. However, if you want to have your sweatshirt be more of like a t-shirt, which sometimes I do do that, like I will just wear my black half zip as like a t-shirt 
then get the half zip. So yeah, that's the biggest difference. Also, I get the extra small small, and I would say the only thing is that um, the length of that is like just pushing it with the thumb holes. Like sometimes if I stretch all the way out here, like it's definitely pulling at my thumbs. So that's the only way if you want to size up, if that is something that's going to bother you. So it, there could be a little bit more give here, but that's also the same thing with the half zip as well. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, just going back to the half zip versus full zip debate. So like I said, I really like my navy full zip and that's something that I feel like I'd rather it be in the full zip. And then black, I feel like I really like my black half zip. Like I don't need a full zip black. But the gray, I'm not sure which one I prefer yet. And then I also have feather pink, which I'm happy with the feather pink and the half zip. So right now the debate is whether I like the half zip or full zip gray better. So here's the gray. Let me look at myself in the mirror. Oh, see, I think this is so cute. And I mean, I'm going to try this on with the scuba joggers next so you can see that fit. But yeah, especially with like a white tank under it, I feel like it looks so cute. And even just right here, I don't know. Guys, I'm really like in the full zip. All right, so here is the half zip, and you can just tell it like, kind of definitely flares out more up here and like falls down more. Let me just take this off and just kind of rides up a little bit more. It's not like rides up to like your neck kind of rides up, but definitely more where I feel like it flares out in the front a lot. So that's definitely a big difference. All right, here is the full zip with the scuba joggers, and I think I like this better because I feel a little bit less frumpy in it and it does definitely get hot because the scuba jog joggers are really fleecy lined. So yeah, I don't know guys. <laughs> to the airport in Utah, I wore this with the half zip scuba hoodie, which you can see in my Utah vlog, but I definitely felt like frumpy in it, especially like gray, you know, this kind of gray definitely is not like slimming <laughs> like black is. but. I like how you can see your tank underneath here and you can even like just wear it a little bit more open so that you're not as hot. And then, is my camera like super bright right now? So yeah, I don't know, I really like how you can wear it open and you can just wear a nice tank under it. And here's what it looks like from the back. And let's see what it looks like zipped up. It's like I wouldn't even really need to wear it zipped up with like this because it's just like really hot. But if you are super cold, then that works. And so you can see it definitely doesn't flare out as much in the full zip as the half zip does. So at least you have that option there. And yeah, I am vibing in the full zip now. All right, so now we have two more items. It's two shorts. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already saw this on my Instagram story, so you don't even need to watch this, but <laughs> I figured why not talk about it here. So these are the Track That 3-inch high-rise short in chambray. I love this color. I love the material of the Track That shorts. It's such a silky, soft material. The only thing with the 3-inch is it definitely is shorter on me because uh, I am a tall person. And this material definitely bunches up in the back a little bit. Like, this is a size six. I like to size up in liners compared to leggings. Um, sorry, I haven't been saying the sizes, but the leggings, I get a size four. In the lines, I would stick with the size four with the pockets. But shorts, I always get a size six because of the liner. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does like bunch up at the back here. But I mean, it's nothing like I feel it bunching up or anything like that. It's just sometimes when I catch a glimpse of myself and I'm like taking a video of myself, I can be like, oh. Like I should have just like pulled that down a little bit, but that's the only thing. And like I said, I definitely do get short on me. Like not in a sense where I feel that it's short. It's just like when I take a video and I'm like, Oof, like it looks like I have really short shorts on just because I have really long legs. Like I literally was like bending down and you can see like they just look pretty short on me. So usually four inches my vibe, which is why I got these hotty hot four inch shorts. But the waistband just fits a little bit differently on that, so I'm going to try that on next. But regardless, I love the waistband on the track that shorts and the material. I just kind of wish they were four inches, and I like the scoop too. I think it's very flattering, that scoop as well. But I think the four inch would suit my legs better, but obviously I don't have a four inch. I just have three and five, so especially with high rise, I need it to be high rise because it's still underneath my belly button. It's not even that high rise which is so annoying that <laughs> the shorts are not actually high rise. Okay, I really wanted a pair of white shorts, which is why I got the Hottie Hots in this white. These are the Hottie Hot 4 inch high rise, and as you can 
see they're not high rise on me, um, maybe on shorter people, but these are size six and I need the size six because of the liner, but then that makes obviously the waistband looking pretty loose here. Although I don't necessarily mind the way it feels when it's loose because no one wants it to be like really tight anyways, but they don't fall, even though they're loose, they don't fall down at all. It's just, it causes that like gap right here because there is a seam, the thing right here where you can make it tighter, but either way, it's not going to fall down. And I like the four inch, like I said, because it provides more coverage. I really like the coverage this provides on the back for me. I don't feel like I am too revealing in this, but it's just definitely, it looks a little bit more of an awkward fit here. So I'm not sure if I'll return these and try to see if they come out with a track that in the white. They actually do have the speed up shorts in four inch high rise in white. So I just ordered that online today. So I'll probably show that on my Instagram stories if you're interested in that, but I'm gonna compare those with these and see how I feel. Cause I had had the speech up shorts a really long time ago, but they ended up being not fitting me anymore cause they were size four and I think they were like two and a half inches and my butt cannot fit in that anymore. I just think a white pair of shorts makes such a cute outfit. Like I'm actually gonna try this on with another tank just to show you. It's just a really cute outfit. I don't know why I still have the tag on this. I got this over a month ago. I just haven't worn it yet, so I can't even return it, but I love this color, the Violet Bourbonna. I don't have anything in this color, and I think it looks really good with these shorts, and I, this tank is definitely like just so flattering. This is a size six, and I would definitely stick with a size six. That's my, my size in the line tanks and sports bras, and yeah, I just think this is a really cute combo, and see, I think it looks really cute in the back with these shorts compared to the track bag, because these don't bunch up, and they provide coverage, so... I don't know, let me know what you guys think. You know, maybe I can keep these and also get the white track bat if they come out. You know, I don't really have to choose one, but I was just trying to be like responsible. <laughs> All right, so that concludes my like bi-weekly Zulu haul at this point. I just <laughs> don't know when I'll ever stop, but I just really am passionate about it and I like talking about it. And I like hearing your guys' opinions on what you think you like and what I should keep or what I should not keep just, you know, makes me feel like I'm not alone. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.